Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today I have another mod project for you. Let's get started. This, as you all may know, is our JB40FL from Harley Benton. This $120-ish base is an absolute masterpiece for what it is. A fun, fretless base that is cheap, affordable, it's really heavy, but outside of that, everything about this base is just killer. And I wanted to mod it, and I thought about what kind of mods I wanted to do on it. The first thing we did was install a set of EMG pickups here. These are just the regular EMG Active Jazz pickups. There's a 9-volt battery in the control cavity over here, and we are utilizing the EMG pots as well. I was very impressed with the clarity, the definition, and just the added grunt that these EMG pickups gave us while still maintaining the classic jazz character. Very nice pickups overall. And today we are going to utilize that clarity to see if the Ray Ross bridge will make any difference to our Harley Benton JB40 FL. The Ray Ross bridge, pictured here, is an interesting saddleless design with no brake angle on the string, and this is supposed to increase clarity and sustain even further. I hope this is true because we are going to be installing one today and testing that claim out. Now keep in mind this mod project and the observations we're going to make today are going to be very hard to measure in terms of like sustain and clarity. I'm going to do my best using all my recording equipment to give a before and after, but it's up to you to decide whether or not you hear anything different. Isn't that right, BB? Yes. <laughs> If you want to see my full review of the JB40FL, or to see part one of the mod project, go ahead and check out those video links down in the description below. But for now, let's get started. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. The first thing we're going to do is lay down our baseline baseline. We're going to play with both pickups engaged as well as just with the bridge pickup soloed. Tone at 100% for both. Let's get started. Here's both pickups together, tone all the way open. Next here is the bridge pickup. Nice, very nice. Now let's go ahead and swap in our bridge to the workbench. So here we are at the workbench once again. We are going to be installing the Ray Ross Saddleless Bridge into our Harley Benton and JB40 FL. The first thing we're going to do is remove the strings and then remove the bridge. Let's get started. With our strings removed, let's go ahead and take out the stock bridge. Okay, with our screws removed, the stock bridge comes right off. Next, we will mount our Ray Ross bridge right here. Okay, our Ray Ross bridge has been fully mounted. Let's go ahead and reinstall our strings. Then I will set up the base and see if we notice any audible difference. 
And we're back. You may notice a couple new holes here. I ended up relocating the bridge when I didn't need to. I was moving it forward thinking that it would improve the intonation, but I just needed to move the saddles back. My bad. <laughs> But regardless, we have the Ray Ross bridge installed here and installed correctly. I have everything set up and intonated. Let's see how this bass sounds. First, we're going to have both pickups together and then I will solo the bridge pickup. Let's get started. Next, here's our bridge pickup soloed. Very interesting. I'm actually going to go and listen to the audio clips back to back myself, and then we will have my final thoughts on the Ray Ross Bridge. So here are my final thoughts on the Ray Ross Bridge on our Harley Benton JB40 FL, equipped with EMG jazz bass pickups. Overall, I think this is a solid upgrade. I didn't really notice too much of a tonal difference. With both pickups on, maybe I noticed a little bit more clarity on the high end, but it was really tough to tell. There was a slight difference in regards to the string feel versus the stock bridge, um, but that was just a very slight difference. It could all be on my head, but yeah, there's maybe a slight difference. However, in regards to the aesthetics, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not really blown out of the water in regards to like, oh, this is a life-changing, bass-changing mod. It's, it's a new bridge. It's pretty cool, but I'm not gonna say that, hey, this is gonna improve your tone and sustain and all this other stuff. I wasn't really able to prove that here with this particular fretless. Uh, I think everything sounded pretty much the same, even uh, using headphones and playing back the raw audio on my computer over here. I didn't really notice too much of a difference. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below if you heard a difference or if you think that this upgrade is worth it. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Ray Ross Bridge on our Harley Benton JB40 FL with EMG Jazz Bass pickups. And as always, until we groove again.